Houston, Texas. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's the Cube. Covering Grace Hopper celebration of women in computing. Now your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Frick. Okay, welcome back everybody. We're live here in Houston, Texas for Grace Hopper celebration of women in computing. This is Silicon Angles, the Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the event and extract the signal noise. We are covering the Grace Hopper in Houston for three days live wall-to-wall -wall programming. Um, thanks for watching. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Angels. My co-host Jeff Frick here for wrap up of our first kind of little day. They had to kick off today. Um, keynote speech from GoDaddy, um, the CTO from the USA, Megan Smith, um, two, two great friends of, of ours on theCUBE. Jeff, what's your takeaway so far? I mean, so far it's been great. I mean, it's just a sea of women. Um, the community is my big takeaway. That yeah. The vibe and growth is significantly stronger in terms of heartbeat numbers, but it's a communal event. It's more community than, than I think it, I was expecting to see. It's very community, and, and again, I'm just constantly fascinated as people are walking by wearing their t-shirts. A, a gal just walked by wearing an ESPN technology shirt. Maybe she, uh, maybe we can get her to come on us with the cube. As I look past the camera, I see the NSA. So this is the variety in the spectrum is just massive. You could feel the energy. Um, like I so said, we were lucky to get here last year for a, for a quick drive-by. Uh, I did just hear that Satya has been here all day. He, uh, he decided to be a listener, use, uh, you know, like your mom used to say, you got two, two ears and one mouth, you should use them in that proportion, so he came and listened. So, so just for him for so coming he out. Here. He's not keynoting, he's here all day today, a little bit of yesterday, so he is here. So it's, it's, it's just great energy, and, and I him. think, you know, what we talked about a little bit with August on our last segment is, it's the right thing to do, and you asked him pointedly, what is the right thing to do? Well, there's the right thing that, that's what you should do, but oh, by the way, it's the right thing because you can get a lot more talent to help build your business. Oh, and it's the right thing because the diversity of a team approach attacking a problem is going to get a better outcome. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, the, it's right on so many levels, I John. mean, they're all on messaging mode now. They're trying to put on the happy face, but here's the bottom line. Women are severely underpaid in tech, period, hands down, full stop. If you're an engineer or you're in the uh, entry level or mid-career, mid most likely you are being paid less than a man. That's just fact. That's just statistically proven. I've anecdotally had people come to me and say, it's, uh, you know, it's totally true. And there's kind of a chip on the shoulder. And I can't blame them, right? So that's the reality. The right thing to do, first thing, equalize the pay, number one. And then two is a, more, a little more softer, Jeff, in my opinion. That's the opportunities. And I, you know, we were, people were commenting about here, us not having any women on the Cube set. We want women to work for us. <laughs> we need a women host if you're watching. We'd love to have some women uh, producers as well. But the bottom line is opportunity is critical. The future opportunity in tech right now is best it's ever been. Data science, developer, um, machine learning, technology is everywhere, it's pervasive. And if you're in any human being, the opportunities are great. So here I'm hearing that theme, that's the right thing to do is have those opportunities. And this event is fostering that showcase of, hey, this real community here. Yeah, and it's half the talent pool, right? I mean, there's not enough great engineers. All these companies are growing rapidly. All companies are now software companies. You can't turn your back on half of the potential population by which you can, by which you can hire and grow your team. And I thought it was interesting, again, August saying that, you know, again, what's a cool thing about this, this conference is companies sponsor college kids to come and how that you know, helps them stay retain on their yep. CS path. So I just think there's a lot going on here and uh, like I said, we're, we're really excited to be here. You know, look at USAA, GE, JP Morgan, it's, it's, uh, it's great. What, what are you, what, what, what's not, what, is there anything that's knocked you off your chair so far here? What, what one thing that you could say that knocked you off your chair? I, I think it's just the realization in t-shirts that every company's a software company. The first one I saw when I got here was Macy's. Uh, which is ironic because that was the first job I had out of college. Macy's is a technology company. And then I see Best Buy, and then I see Target. You know, Goldman I Sachs. I Goldman Sachs, I saw a shirt, gs.com slash recruiting. I'm like, gs.com, is that Goldman Sachs? It was, so of course we expect to see Facebooks and Googles and you know, kind of the powerhouses, Intel, Intuit, LinkedIn. But, but I guess I was a little bit surprised to see so many companies that again, don't necessarily jump off the top of your your, uh, your list of technology companies, like I say, USAA, um, 
nationwide insurance. So it's really such a broad representation. I think that's probably what caught me the most. So that and people going through the goodie bag and actually <laughs> going through step by step because it's a big thing here. Who so has the best the top keys. trending hashtags right now are number one in the community on our CrowdShack community, you'll look at the numbers there. Number one, hashtag, our time to lead. And the people there, the really, really rallying around um, our time to lead. And this was to my earlier point earlier as the intro is that we are seeing a radical shift in the, in the computer business. Never seen before in my career. Amazon Web Services destroying the competition. EMC selling to Dell. The old way of doing things is completely dying. And this is an opportunity. And this is not a male gender role opportunity. The computer industry, let's be, let's be frank, it's been male driven. Venture capital, male driven. That world is changing. If you believe that to be the case, you better get on board this new trend. Women make up 50% of social networks. They're online, they're growing, they're learning. So learning and leading, that's a big theme. Obviously women in tech, spelled out women in tech, is the second most popular hashtag. And Friday, the 13th, uh, is interesting. Um, and then Cisco is trending. Cisco GHC, um, Google, faces in tech. Just a lot of great stuff going on here, and it's not one company, it's not one theme, it's all tied around technology and development. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a great event. We're looking forward to it. We got two more days, John. So uh, I think we're about ready to wrap for tonight. Let everybody get a good night's sleep because we're going to be busy for the next couple days. SiliconAngle.tv, go to crowdchat.net slash GHC15. Join the conversation. All the videos are going to go up on YouTube. We'll be live for two more days, all day Thursday and uh, half a day on Friday. Jeff will be carrying you on Friday. I'll be here with Jeff tomorrow. Stay tuned, watch SiliconAngle.tv. The Cube will be right back tomorrow for all full day of coverage. Stay tuned and see you tomorrow. <laughs>